In a previous video, I described how the Gram-Schmidt process can be used to perform the QR decomposition. However, in practice, the Gram-Schmidt process is numerically unstable when implemented on a computer. In this video, I describe a numerically stable approach based on householder reflections. The idea behind the householder reflection is to turn a vector v into a new vector that has the same length, but whose first entry is the only non-zero entry in the vector. Our A matrix consists of column vectors V1 through Vn. Our goal is to obtain the QR factorization of A. If we apply a householder reflection for V1 to A, we eliminate all the entries below the first entry in the first column of A. This leaves behind non-zero entries in the first row and a submatrix A prime. If we apply this householder reflection approach to A prime and do this recursively, we end up with an upper triangular matrix R. The resulting sequence of householder reflections gives us Q transpose.